Hey everyone, I have a craft update for you guys. So let's just get started. First I have this cupcake and I actually halved it because I want to use this um, for decoing. So that's just what it looks like. So I have this donut and it's just a pink and white donut and it's, it's shaded and I'm going to use this for decoing as well. Next I made these two sushis inspired by Sugar Charms Shop tutorial which I will link in the description box below. So the first one I made was this one. And the fish honestly looks really realistic on this one, but the rice doesn't. Even, like, I literally took so long to make the rice, and it doesn't even look that good. So, I wanted to remake that. And I made this type of fish, and I didn't texture it this time. I wanted to make it smooth, and I made the rice like this. And they both have head pins. So, guys, please tell me in the comments below which one you like the most. I have this and it's a macaron little box and it's from that brand which a lot of you know and I'm not even gonna try to read but I printed the logo and I stuck it on and I painted the the sides and the back um, silver like with paint and I domed over the back so the paint won't come off and you can actually open this but you can't take out the macarons and every macaron is made from polymer clay And they're really, really tiny. Next, I have a few resin pieces, so let's get started. I have this resin piece, and I made this for my mom. It's a stack of macarons, and the back is just, um, I put, like, some gold leaf. And the back is pink. And I domed the back with, um, just plain resin, and then I put a white um, heart cabochon and it's on a um, gold cell phone strap I have this little ring and it's not that little actually it's inspired by crafters of lights and I made every single gummy bear from resin but the actual um, white thing is made from polymer clay and then I painted it white and I domed over the front I have to dome over the back and add a ring base but um yeah, that's just what it looks like. And I'll link her tutorial in the description box below. I have this gummy bear and it's actually a pretty big gummy bear. And it's just a blue glittery neon gummy bear but you can't even tell the neon color. But um, that's just what it looks like. I have this um, gingerbread man and the actual thing is made from resin. And um, I made every single detail from polymer clay. And that took quite a while. But then I domed over it with some resin. So that's what that looks like. Next I made this resin piece and I domed over the front and the back with um, white. And um, the background just is like rainbow colors with rainbow sprinkles. And it has these characters which I can't remember um, what they're called. But I got this sticker from Crafters of Lights. And I think it's really cute. I just don't know what to do with it yet. I'm probably going to make it into like a brooch. Next is this dog um, little pin or brooch and I dome over the front and the back and it has a few um, like rhinestone, um, like flower shaped rhinestones. So um, and it also has some star shaped confetti and the back is just um, neon green and I got this sticker from Accessorize. And basically, you just have to turn this thing around and it comes out. And then you push it back in and then you just turn that. So, yeah. This and it's, I made it for my grandparents and this is supposed to be them. And the back has a few like scrapbooking flowers, um, some confetti and some um, tinsel glitter. And I put a few rhinestones as you can see. But like if I if I move the camera like a little bit further, the only one you can see is this one. And I got this one from Crafters Delights. And she sells them. So it just shows like the difference with like Swarovski crystals, rhinestones, and the normal ones. Like you can't even see this one or these ones, honestly. And you can see this one, so yeah, so that's what it looks like. And I'll link everything in the description box below. Next I made this and it's a heart macaron and the actual filling is made from silicone 
and I attached this little key and it's on a pink cell phone strap and I think this is really cute. The actual macaron is made from, like the macaron shells are made from resin. Next I have a few cabochons which I made to deco a phone case and I'm gonna make a video on that. So um, every single um, cabochon is made by me. So um, everything is resin except for this and this. They're made from polymer clay but I domed over them with resin. And I put like a rhinestone on top. Just to like give it a little shine so it looks more like sturdy. But that's just what it looks like. And I'm just going to show you one rose. So basically the rose is made from resin and then I painted a little bit of white on top. And then I put a rhinestone and then I domed over it with resin. And that's for all of them. And then this is supposed to be the actual centerpiece of the phone case and it's made from resin. And I painted a little bit white. I stuck a few rhinestones and the middle has just like a stack of macarons which I love so much. So yeah. And I really don't know how to stick this part onto this part. Because every single time either like there, there's like air bubbles as you can see or like you can see the glue. So I didn't use glue this time. I just used resin. And um, there are like some air bubbles stuck. So I really don't know how to do that. Um someone can tell me that would be I great made, i decorated this donut and i got the actual donut from miniature sweet on etsy.com and i decorated it with some chocolate sauce and some nut bits which i made um the nut bits from polymer clay and the chocolate sauce is actually um puffy paint but like you can squish it as much as you want and the nut bits never come off so and the paint never cracks so i'm really happy about that and then I made this cocktail or a drink with some, um, what's it called, some food coloring and there's blue and pink food coloring and then I put some fake ice on top and it's on a white cell phone strap. So I have this tray and I'm gonna enter this in Sugar Charms Shop Contest and I'll link that in the description box below if you guys want to enter. So I made the actual tray as well and I made every single piece you see in here and you can take them out so I'm just going to show you them individually so I'm just going to show you guys the tray um basically it's made from polymer clay and I sculpted the whole thing and then I um it's from I made it from green polymer clay and then I went over it with some gold paint and I didn't go over it completely um so you could see the green as well and I don't know what this is, honestly, but I'm going to try cover it with a little bit of gold paint. So, I want it to look a little bit vintage, as you can see. So, um, that's what that looks like, and I also glazed it. So this is the first thing, and it's just a chocolate donut. And I made the chocolate using puffy paint and then I domed over it so it wouldn't be sticky. Next I have this cup of hot chocolate and it's so tiny I made the whole thing myself. And it just has some chocolate sprinkles and a whipped cream dollop. And I made this at, uh, myself as well. I have this and you can't really see it because it's a little dark but it's a Dutch um, or yeah I think it's like a Dutch um, pastry and I shaded it and textured it a lot and there's like some um, some jam in the middle so and everything has been like domed with resin this is actually my favorite pastry I made out of all of them this and it's just another Dutch pastry and it's really textured and shaded as you can see This is supposed to be cream and then the sides have like some frosting and as you can see I domed over them with resin. And lastly I have this croissant and it's really shaded and textured as well. And I actually really worked hard on these pieces so I really like them. That's just what they look like all together. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm really sorry I haven't been uploading in such a long time. 
Um, I've been on vacation, so I wanted to spend some time with my family. And yeah, also, Happy New Year, guys. So another thing, I wanted to let you guys know that I finally made an Instagram. And um, my username on Instagram is Princess Wiwia. Link it in the description box below if you guys are interested in following me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for 700 plus subscribers. I'm so, so happy. And I'm so thankful for every single one of you always supporting me. And when I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm either going to make a contest or a giveaway just to, just to thank you guys for all the support. So yeah, everything will be linked linked in the description box below and thank you so much for watching bye guys